I think I'm going to chance it. I'm going to leave the Devastators there and hope that he comes across to capture these guys or these guys. Either one, I'd be able to kill them, I think, in time. So, hold position. Uh, I'm not worried about killing that gate right now, but we don't have to save bullets. Nah, don't worry. Oh, I forgot I'm in range to shoot. Get a little head start. Really annoy him. Do I want to do that, though? My preference would be for these guys to come up this way to grab them. 4.4 at range. Close quarters is going to be even more damage. I won't be able to get my captain in play either if they come to the south to, to capture here. Hmm... Let's take the shot. We'll just pray they take the northern route. I think I'm going to get screwed. I think they're going to go south, but... Nope, not going to bother. Not going to bother. Oh, man. Give me your last shot. So, we got our third apothecarium out. I have to wait one more turn in order to get another Devastator, which would be my preference. <sighs> yeah, much as I need things out, we're going to wait. Alright, see what happens. We're going to kill the tower, and we're going to pray he goes north instead of south. Tower's down. Guess which direction he went. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, he didn't he didn't enslave me. So that part's good. I don't have the uh, that option on his screen now, I assume because there's an enemy close, but Huh. So he did way more damage than I expected, though. Man, all my guys are just so beat up. Two turns, I can have him back towards the city. I can't send him north. Hopefully this is going to interfere with these guys. They're still probably going to capture that site, or at least take it from me. Um, I'm just trying to decide. I can pull him back into the outpost to get some healing. Much as I want to capture this, I just I got too many competing things for my attention right now, and all my units are so messed up, health wise. Yeah, I gotta do that. I think you. I'm gonna run to the. I mean, I'd love to leave him here, but I just I can't. Send you back towards the capital. And get you pulled back into defensive range. The captain. Hmm. And slavers only capture when you have a morale less than eight. Well, that's good information to have. Um, so, morale 9, morale 13, morale 9. What lowers morale? 
Regenerates if the unit is not taking damage this turn. Below 66% units become shaken, decreasing accuracy. Huh. So even with us at 7 out of 17 hit points, we've still got 9 morale, huh? Okay. I'll remember that. That'll help pl planning in the future against slavers in particular. I knew they aren't as effective against space marine type units because of the high morale and such, but they still hit me really damn hard. I'll still hope they come towards me and we can finish them at range. I gotta decide what to do with the captain, though. I just got no real units. They're all they're all hammered. It's the same problem I usually have with space marines. They're just so slow to get units out. And you have to shepherd the units you have so carefully. You tend to get overrun pretty easily. Until things really ramp up. Now that I've got that, I just need to keep increasing my requisitions. So we can make space marines and devastators quicker. Uh, I was really hoping to capture that, though. Alright, let's... um. I'm going to leave everybody else here for a turn. We'll see if the slavers move up and see if these guys come forward. Here, though, let's go ahead and use our uh, rights of war. Give everybody a nice fat bonus. Let's see. 2.5. Ouch. Ouch. These are immortals. We're actually not going to be able to knock these guys down. Hey there, immortals. Medium ranged armored infantry unit. Hmm. Test the carbines. Range four, but not much armor pin. But as, as heavy armor as I'm wearing. That's crazy. Necrons can put out units with uh, infantry units with as much armor as space marines. <laughs> I guess that's their their space marine equivalent, just mainly for ranged fire. Huh. Well, let's see. Wish I could tell for sure what effectiveness. The only problem I have with this setup, defensively, is that I can't. He's melee only. So if I bring them up to do something like a grenade, then he can't do anything other than his support abilities. I think I'm just going to have to shoot and then bring him up in melee again. He'll probably pull his unit back after that. Unfortunately, so we might not be able to chase him down. To move or not to move? That is the question. It really comes down to, are these guys going to try to take out the Umbra? They can give me a turn or two. I could advance with the captain. He's definitely not going to get enslaved. Bring up the Devastators behind, and we could uh, take this guy out. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Let's advance to here. Uh, why did I do that? That was dumb. <laughs> that was, that was so dumb. <laughs> God damn it. Oh well. And we'll just bring him up in support. So here's an example of I can hit that, but I can't hit that because I assume the uh, the height difference. Yeah, I really want a hotkey that shows me I can press that shows me whatever unit I have selected, what is in my range to fire at. I mean, I can tell because of the red hex, but just make me feel better if I could know ahead of time for sure. Well, that sucked. I screwed that one up pretty bad. Um, we're up to 70. Give me another Devastator. Yeah, no surprise there. Umbra's coming back my way. There's three Umbra in that area. There's the Enslavers. They came forward. 
Why you gotta go pick on my tower? I'm gonna lose towers to stupid Umbra now. Yeah, good luck with that. Look at that. He's almost back to full strength again. Oh, I hate Necron. <laughs> I hate Necron. They're so bad. Oh, man. I can't even chase that guy down and kill him. I could get into melee range, but I still wouldn't be able to finish him with the power that I've got. I'll hit him, and I'll hit him, and then he'll just back off and heal again, and two turns later, he's back to full strength. Ugh. And I really, really don't want to get too far out of position with this guy. I'm willing to get up into this tree, tree line here to try, but I just we're not going to have the strength. Yep, it's not going to be enough again. And he'll just back off. Uh, that's it. That's all I got. So, what else happened? Getting attacked by Umbra for no good reason. Gonna lose another tower. And down south. So, he did move up. Now we've got... Um, we can't see him? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Son of a... <laughs> that bothers me. That bothers me a lot. Ugh. That's four height? I still might not be able to see him even from here. I was really hoping to have this done within a turn or so. I see. Yeah, there is a cliff there. I would have to go here and then up here. Ugh. Yeah, that's... I remember this being a problem, and a lot of people have complained about, is noticing, depending on where you've got your camera, the height and all that, noticing just what kind of a height difference there is. So I actually stepped down into a hole. I went from three height down to two height, and this is at four height. <laughs> so... I screwed up that positioning as well. Um, Four point four, huh? Three point seven, four Now, of course, they're just going to run away. Not in range of the tower. They've got what left? Still got nine hit points. And they're big. So, that's not going to do anywhere near enough. Have to wait for next turn. Heal in place. I'm going to... Oh yeah, he did take the tower. Yeah, just go to the first city spot.
And we need rep we need resources, so nothing to do there. Wow, it didn't go very far. So they can finish the enslavers, or we can put a hurt on the uh, the Vespids. But no, let's finish the enslavers with you. Yeah. Everybody get some XP. Level up. Can you capture now? It's got a blue th circle around it. Yay! Finally! Achievement unlocked. The Living Stone. Stationary artifact that increases... Yeah, artifact unit that increases loyalty. Uh, I remember the loyalty. Getting it from... I had plus one loyalty earlier. We've gone up in pop. However, that's not the fun one. I remember there's some other ones that are different. Capturable. Plus two loyalty. Oh, was I minus loyalty? And <laughs> didn't notice? Alright, so now we can get out of here, finally. Uh, I got no interest in pushing forward. I need to strengthen my northern... Order against the damn Necrons. I'm a little surprised he didn't pull further away because he's still in range. We can actually finish this guy this turn. So that surprises me a bit. Can't quite do it with that unit, so we're going to have to go in with these and that unit. Surprises me a bit. That seems like a bad move on the computer's part. Level up from a priest. Alright, so, bit of a mess. No idea where he went. He hasn't come in range of my other outposts yet. Still healing. Um, fired and waiting. You... I don't know if I get healing benefits when I fort up inside the um, the fortress. Yeah, there's resources. Doesn't mention anything. Could leave them where they're at. Just a little worried about uh, random stuff showing up. I think I will leave them here. So we captured and we have no other actions except for the level up. I want the deeds of glory. And I want... Positive loyal increases total city resource output. While negative decreases it. Cool. Uh, we are still holding for more resources. So, they reduced my tower. Big surprise. Oh! 
Well, that's not good. Devastator Doctrine. Hmm. So, we got our first unit of Devastators south. Get them moving north. You're definitely taking that shot. Bring you across to... Hmm, where do I want each? Doom Blades are kind of a light, fast-moving unit. Fast reconnaissance unit. I'd rather save my big grenades for the other unit that he had flying around down here. Think we can kill it if I bring both over? It's just who do I want to leave out in the open? I think I'd rather leave the hero out, so we'll bring... Oh, crap. Well, there we go. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Hey there, Melt-A-Bomb. 9.9 .9 from the Melt-A-Bomb. Yep. Got to Melt-A-Bomb that thing. Ah, uh, crap. I was hoping to kill this, but now we're not going to be able to manage it. Oh, look at that sliver of health left. <laughs> Please tell me he dies. No, he survived. He's going to get to run away. Damn it. I, I got Devastators are going to come up, but I think I might lose this unit unless he pulls him back. If he brings anybody else forward, though. They're not ready. I got nobody else in the north. Need a, Hopefully, you need one more turn or two more turns for him to heal up. All right, let's um, get moving north. I think I'll leave this one Space Marine to the south to kind of keep an eye on things. Devastator. Can't go into the wire weed. Don't want to move over there. Not. What are those things? All right. That's interesting. Airborne Elusive Wasp. Infests its victims. Well, that sounds fun. Causes a target unit to spawn a Psychnoin when killed. Lovely. Yeah, back that way. Stay in position. Uh, need a turn. Get another Devastator up. I need regular Space Marines as uh, screens for the Devastators as well. Need to uh, get another city tile. Do that, and let's. Yeah, let's get another space marine. All right, so. Still have no vehicles. It's gonna start to paint be a real problem here pretty quick. <laughs> so close. So close. Alright, so here comes the real pressure. Uh, how to screen this space marine to keep him from getting sniped. 
I can lay a pretty heavy shot on these destroyers. I might be able to take out that destroyer, but I've still got to get him covered or back far enough to keep him from getting sniped for that last point. So I'm going to bring him south, bring the chaplain south as a blocker, bring this unit north to help hit this with the devastators. Between the two, we might be able to kill that unit or at least force it to back off and heal. And if we add the tower in, I think we can drop that one. So, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to participate. i get you out of there. Next up, get you positioned here. Devastator's just going to take its shot. Point six. Bring you up. I have to do. 2.5. Not going to be enough. Oh, never mind. He can't see these because of the cover. Well, that sucks. That shot's going to effectively do nothing. Yeah, that sucks. Um, grenades are going to help not at all. Hmm. Get you guys moving. If I can go another turn without taking an actual loss, I think I'll have enough power in the area that we'll be able to, uh, Deal with what we've got currently coming in. They're definitely not going to kill the chaplain. The concentrate fire, they might, might kill that, or at least put enough per hurt on it that I have to force to pull back. I'll we'll have the devastators available in Overwatch for anything that shows up. I think I still got to concentrate on this guy to force a retreat at least, and a single unit won't be able to polish anything off. So, rights of war. I think that'll be enough to force a retreat. These are just warriors, not those immortals, so they're not as bad. Okay, what do we got? Whoops. Our tile acquired. One turn for another space marine in the area. We're way short on requisitions. We can't really do much other than... Nah, we got enough. Yeah, that barge has got to go. Got to get rid of that barge. Kicking my ass. Love how this thing's wending its way down through in between all my towers. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, you are in the range of the Devastators, so we definitely got to take that shot. Love the Devastators. Especially once you get them set up in a good position with good range of our line of sight and that uh, overwatch for things that wander into their range and then follow it up with a standard strike next round. So we got another unit of Space Marines as well. You guys are going to come forward. You're going to come hide back here. Devastators took their action. They're now weak enough that this is a problem. I need to bring these guys over so I can concentrate fire on the uh, the barge. So we're going to pull these guys back into the city as well. Hurdle up! Let's see. Yeah, this this is not good because we can only do enough damage. They they heal 90% of the damage we're doing. So, this is effectively they're going to win because I can't do enough damage to them each round without support. But It'll take them a little bit of time to knock the tower down. Tower, I just love. Tower can't see two spaces away, I assume, because of this. Two, three. Oh, it's uphill and it's there. General. Scroll, scroll, show bark, semantics, performance, tips. I don't think any of this. Oh, there we go. Show cliff highlights. <laughs> there was that that hole I stepped into earlier. <laughs> All right, yeah, that helps. We'll leave those on. Uh, well, do what you can. Take the low road. Take the high road just in case he's brought some more over here. I'm just going to leave the priest where he's at. Chaplain's just going to try to keep this guy tied up. Next round, we'll be able to put the hammer on it. So, this is just a delaying action, delaying action. Heal up. Bring another Devastator forward, and um, we should be able to wreck that Annihilation Barge next round. Then I just need a few turns to get some more healing done. These guys are getting to be in pretty good shape, finally. Yeah. Alright, in we go. I'm also trying to get the units close enough to share XP, so the whole army gets XP, possibly. <laughs> That's what I'm really looking to Kill Annihilation Barge and have like eight guys all share the XP. It's a huge multiplier. You got to really think about and try to organize and manipulate situations where you can get units in range but not be in danger for the XP sharing. Again, I'm, I'm just holding ground while I'm trying to get my infrastructure upgraded. That's the big thing, I believe, for Space Marines, is you just need the time to get things rolling. Um, I'm, I'm really thinking about another refectory, but... I 
Take five turns to pay itself off. Do I wait one more turn and drop one more space marine? And then go back to infrastructure. I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to get one more space marine out. I need a little bit better coverage. Good luck with that, barge. <laughs> No! <laughs> I don't want you engaging in a fight like that. Tower's almost down. I can drop another tower. We've also got the uh, the Doctrines. Costs 40 of my influence to uh, use either one. Um, Alright. So nothing got lost. You guys are just going to heal in place. And you guys are just going to heal in place. Nothing's in range of the Devastators currently. We can bring him forward. Engage directly. Get him into the defensive position here. Definitely do that. And you still can't hit into this forest to support. That's fine. As long as he's engaged on the Chaplain, he, he's not ever going to really do much against the Chaplain. So, fortunately, we're still going to lose the tower. We just can't bring enough to bear. So I might leave him alone. Let's see what these guys can do first. Devastator. I bring him up to here. We can get the captain into that position. Ah, these guys can't see it still. I can get the Space Marines to there. So I want Space Marines, Captain, Devastator. That means one of the Devastators is not going to be in range. Hmm. I could move the Chaplain to there. Move that Devastator there. I think that's going to work better. We'll do that. We'll do that. And that... All right, Mr. Annihilation Barge. <laughs> Let's have a discussion. Let's talk about some things. Let's see. Healing, healing. Getting into a useless fight. Yeah, I, I don't want you guys getting into useless fights. Back out of your little pillbox now. Okay, let's zoom in for the glory. Oh, so we've already fired, or we have not fired yet. How to stack this damage. 7.3, 5.4. That's not enough on its own. Captain has no other targets possible, so he's going in for this guy. So, power strike. Five point four. I think that's going to be enough to kill him between these two. And he can toss the grenade. Chaplain can go after him. Tower can go after him to try to finish him. So no other target. No other target. Next up. What are you at? 2.6. Still 2.6 and 1.5. So no grenades. I'm not sure we're going to have enough. No, nah, it's not going to be enough to kill this damn thing. That's okay. Still more important to put the hurt on it.
So, move it or lose it. Fortunately, it's a hover, so it's going to go right out over the water. Fire is 1315. I need to queue up another population building pretty soon. Alright, so I was talking about getting another Space Marine unit. I really want another Devastator. I've got two in this Northern group now that can respond to uh, acts of Northern aggression. Fairly solid unit now with uh, heroes and Devastator backups, but I've still only got two Space Marines. I'd love to split it into two different groups. One per hero. And it's not enough right now with hero, single space marine, devastator. More units needed. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to go back. Instead of getting another unit, I think I'm going to assume that this can hold off the Necrons for a bit. I'm going to go back to uh, infrastructure upgrades. Let's finally get the, get the vehicle bay going. Get the armory going. Armory, you go in there. Oops. Well, that was silly. Another bad move on the computer's part. A lot of healing. So, unfortunately, we did lose the, the tower. I can drop another one. He's still gonna hopefully lose this. Let's see. Neither of my devastators can see it. <laughs> I need to get devastators put up in these woods right here. <laughs> For anything that comes along this coast, they'll be able to shoot it in Overwatch. Anything along this coast, they can shoot in Overwatch. And anything in the water, they'll be able to shoot in Overwatch. Firing off the cliff. For the moment, this is going to be the best position for you. And I think this is going to be the best position for you. What can the Devastators do? 6.3 on their own. I could instead cycle these two out this way a bit. Bring the two Devastators in. Kill that. These guys will be able to kill that normal unit without too much problem. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do instead. Oh. Nah, we'll finish him off next turn. He's not going to be able to do much. Hit there. Love the devast. Oh, he's not quite going to die. Thought I had enough. That's all right. Finish him off with you. One, two, three. Make sure you get XP. Come on. There we go. The whole army got XP. <laughs> That's what I was mostly wanting. I guess I should keep them together so when we kill that we all get XP as well. I really want to run a unit out here, but... He hasn't taken these yet. I guess I'm not going to worry about it. Next round we'll kill him. I'll bring these units closer to share XP and then we'll back off. If I can get the, uh, the captain and the chaplain to level 6, they get their other ability unlocks. Okay, uh, so we haven't moved you yet. Come forward, help out. Probably should have tossed an infantry grenade there instead. That's fine. Be 
runs, I won't be able to get everybody the XP that I want. <laughs> Can't get him into the fight. Insta there. Uh, keep shooting the umber, I guess. And hang out at your new home. Good move. Good move. Hmm. I don't have the easy water movement that he does currently. But we do have multiple devastators, <laughs> like I said. Need to get them parked up here. They can assist in lots of fun directions. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with this. I, I would be great to plug this corridor here. I'm also thinking of dropping the tower back down. As to help plug that. They're almost strong enough. I'm going to let them heal all the way up. They got a while still. He's just going to be hanging out, healing for another turn or two. So, what to do, what to do. If I pull my infantry unit out that he shot, he has to advance in order to hit me. Which then puts him in range of my Devastators and uh, everything else in Overwatch. All I really need to do is move this unit back. What I can do is relocate these guys. I'm going to swing them around to this position. Well, I want the XP. I want to keep everybody grouped up, so if he does feed things to me, I get the XP. I guess a better position would be right here. Move him down. We'll leave the chaplain out in the open, taunting them to come forward and try to kill him. He'll have to move up to do it. And if he does, both of my Devastators are going to be able to hammer him. These guys can hit almost hard enough. The problem is, I want to force them to advance. Because if I hit him with the Devastators from here, I don't have quite enough to kill him. And he'll just heal up or pull back. So, I'm actually not going to shoot him. He's got 16. Can I kill him? I think I might be able to kill him if I actually advance up, so let's give it a shot. Let's let's see how it goes. The problem's gonna be one one, two, three. Three these guys and he are not gonna get XP if we kill him in that position. Bring you up, you'll get XP there. Unfortunately you're gonna get left out. Yeah, I'm not 100%. We're actually going to get the kill. He's got how much left? Five? 4.2. Wait, why does it say that's going to kill him? Four point two. It only leaves him 0. 0.8. Huh. All right, let's try it. Says he's gonna die. So he did die, and I got XP to the important folks. Fortunately, these guys didn't get any. Now we've got a hero kind of pushed out front. Um. The. I like his quote. I haven't lost an arm, brother. It's right over there. <laughs> oh, good old Warhammer Space Marines. 
Power Strike to two. We can't do this one until we hit the next level five to max out our deeds. That's the other reason I'm trying to keep him close to fights, is as he levels up, we're getting big, uh, big bonuses of uh, influence, which we're going to start using in vast quantities here pretty soon. Let's next get more damage, plus 100% damage for the power sword attack. Or get the low level healing. Let's get the healing, make sure he stays in the fight. And not enough requisition. Good luck with that. <laughs> Rallied. Apothecaries. This is the other one I was waiting for. Infantry unit that heals allied infantry. Yes. Yes. I desperately need that. Alright. Now we're definitely going to pull back. Try to pull his units into my, my heavy fields of fire. So we'll just come hang out down here. I need to get the captain moved slightly as well because in his current position these guys can advance and then fire at him from here, which I don't want. I want things to advance further in. But I still want to get XP. So, to do that... All the XP spots are taken unless I go way the hell over here, which is kind of out of the way. That's assuming something here shoots down and then I kill it. How important is that going to be? Let's try it for a turn. We'll see if we can keep his attention in this corridor and keep having him cycle units at me. Full strength! Alright, you're going to move up this direction so I can get some eyes up that way. We'll do it via that path. Oh, the armory's done too. So, we have the armory. We can do scout bikers. Scout bikers would be good. I gotta unlock the other things. But, um... Oh, we can get an apothecary out now? 20 to get an apothecary? Oh, that's such a deal. Give me, give me one of those. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is so powerful. Just have an apothecary unit sitting back behind a, a line of infantry. Because he can just keep, every couple of turns, putting a big heal on units. So I don't have to constantly retreat them all the way back or spend eight turns getting them back up to full strength. If I can get an apothecary and then one or two more units and split my groups up, we'll have, I think, the Necrons. Well, who, God only knows what they've got up there. I fully expect to get rolled by the computer at some point. I haven't played it in so long, and I've got it on hard difficulty, that I'd be really shocked if I don't just get rolled. But um, that'll be good. That'll be good. I look forward to that. All right. So we got that going. Uh, let's. Let's get another tile queued up. Research time. Is it time to bring the predators out? Or should we go with the land speeder? I'm going to I'm going to ignore the land speeder, I think. Let's go. Wait on those. Yeah, let's get the Predator. I think it's time. Tank unit specialized in taking down skimmers and flyers. I'm seeing a lot of skimmers and flyers from him. Yeah, maybe we'll do the Hunter instead. I think I'm going to have more use out of that right now, and then we'll work our way into the Predator. Oh my god! 
All right, ignore everything I said earlier. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus, for the uh, the Devastators. This is exactly why I brought them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, that is so bad. Please don't kill my Devastator. Please, please don't kill my Devastator. <laughs> oh, that is so bad. Uh, I can't believe they've got a Doomsday Arc coming on me already. <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah. Well, that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> Man. Fucking Doomsday Arc floating across the water. Thought I was in a pretty good shape there with the two Devastators ready for stuff. I wasn't ready for one of his biggest units coming down. He's way ahead of me. What is my equivalent for the uh, the Doomsday Arc? I don't know Necron well enough. I'm trying to think. Uh... It's not. I don't think it's the Predator equivalent. I think it's much further down. Uh, not Terminators, that's infantry. I, I don't know, but maybe it is the Predator equivalent. Storm Raven gunship? It's it's a ways down the chain, <laughs> I think. So, they almost killed my Devastator unit. In one round. So, the Doomsday Arc. Vehicle unit with devastating firepower. Cost 48 and 80 power. I don't have the Predators yet. It's not showing me their info, but it might be the Predator equivalent. Ouch. That thing is nasty, though. Doomsday Cannon. Hit multiple group members of the target unit, so it, it, it hit each one individually, which multiplies its damage, basically. That's the, the high power and the low power version. Vehicle, skimmer unit, quantum shielding, living metal. And it's out in the water where I can't really get to it effectively. 13.2 and 4.6, but I got nothing else that's got the range to really hit it. So it's, it's going to be able to pull back if I were willing to stay here and continue the fight. Ugh. Apothecary unit, where are you? <laughs> I needed you a little bit earlier. Um, I need to sucker it onto the land now. Or I can get at it with my melta bombs from my tax space marines. And or get a hero unit on there to crack it open. <clears throat> what to do, what to do. And a good old canoptic spider. Optic spider. And if I just had one more guy out here, we'd be able to do it. We'd be able to crack it. I need like four more damage, and I'm not going to be able to get four more damage on him. Nope, not even close. Not with the weapons the TAC Marines have. They've got to get up close and personal and use their grenades against that thing. I think I'm going to have to pull back, hope he brings it forward, and then I get another another shot at it. What's your movement rate? Four? Ouch. And the range on your weapons is... Two and three. So he can hit me from where he's at with this Devastator. Right. We got to bring you forward. We need all the power we can get. I don't want to lose a Devastator if I can avoid it. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to avoid it. I'm going to bring him back, try to get a uh, 
check or the standard space marine out in front of him. Devastators are uh, more valuable than attack marines are. I'll come back here so we might have a chance to assist this direction. But they only have a two range, right? 